Hey there, turn on your speakers. Do you have finals week coming up? Projects due? Homeworks are piling up? Are you freaking out that you're getting boxed in with deadlines? Here's an idea get help. Think Geek Exams. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. So this one is a statics homework with uh, moments in it, and uh, here we have a, a, a hinge of sort with a lever, and uh, the the lever basically, so the, uh, right here there's a force going in this direction, which is alpha from the horizontal, alpha is 33 degrees, the force is 2 kilonewtons, and the hinge is at 51 degrees from the horizontal. The question is what is the magnitude and the direction of the moment of the force at point B and then we have to find the shortest distance uh, from point B uh, to the line of action of the force in millimeters. So um, we know that uh, our, uh, the cross multiplication of uh, the R vector with the force vector is going to give me the, the the uh, moment in vector form. So th that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to uh, start writing down what the R vector looks like. Let's write down R. Uh, so R B A, R angle is going to be so so it's going to be 51 the reason we basically subtract from 180 is because this is on the left hand side we needed the angle to be from the right hand side from the positive x direction and we uh, we turn the degrees into radians because that's easier to handle so this is our angle in radians so the next next step is we need the uh, r b a magnitude which is going to be uh, 330 millimeters. So 330 divided by a thousand, that's in meters. So now we have the magnitude and the angle, so we can calculate the, the vector. So we are going to write this as RBA equals to RBA mag, and then we do um, a uh, in uh, individual vector element multiplication with the cosine of the angle R B A angle and then the sine as a second the y axis R B A angle and then for the z axis because this is going to be in 3D moments are going to be in 3D so we put a zero for the third dimension and that gives us RBA as a vector now F mag is given as 2 kilonewtons F angle is given as minus 33 degrees and we convert that into a, a radian and then we can get F equals to F mag, and we do the same thing, uh, cosine F angle, sine F angle, and then a zero for the third dimension. And that should give us the force vector and we can see that the force vector is in the positive x direction and the negative y direction so positive x direction and negative y direction and uh, ultimately what we need is the 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 moment of inertia in the, in the vector form it's going to be cr cross of r b a times f and that gives us minus 203 so I'm going to write in the minus 203.95 and uh, 
since this is in the negative negative direction of uh, z so basically it's going to go into the screen uh, when it goes into the screen the 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 torque is going to be clockwise so that's that's the answer for that now that we have uh, now that we have the tau in vector form we can get the force uh, we can get the distance between the force and uh, the point B um, so the way we would do that is R short equals to um, the, the absolute value of the of the moment which is going to be norm tau divided by the absolute value of the force um, and that is our f mag and that should give us the shortest distance and this is going to be in, um, uh, in meters so I'm going to multiply by that by a thousand I'm going to do that at the beginning so there's no confusion and that's 101.97 Five so one oh one point nine seven five six and that should be the right answer. Oh, the magnitude should be positive, not negative, and that's the correct answer. Think Geek Exams. Our agents have Masters of Engineering degrees from MIT, Stanford, Georgia Tech, Caltech. We give you solutions to mathematics, physics, computing, and engineering. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube.